I like to welcome y'all to Q City World and today we talking about Wayne Garcia saying he don't care about sparring Tank Davis. He said, I was simply demanding a fight with Davis. He said, I should be ready within two fights to be fighting for a championship title. He said, whether it be Tank Davis or not, I was just saying, I want that fight. He said, he started calling me a bum. He started talking bad about me. Now he talking about he gonna fly over to California to spar me on Monday. And it is what it is. He come, and when he get there, we gonna do what we gotta do. But at the end of the day, I don't care about sparring with headgear. I wanna fight without headgear. I wanna fight for that money. I wanna fight him for real. Ryan Garcia said at the end of the day, Tank is on the radar. He said today, I'm having a meeting with Oscar De La Hoya, and we gonna talk about me getting to this fight for real. But at the end of the day, I think Oscar De La Hoya is gonna try to tell this boy, don't have no sparring match with this man. Don't get this man no secrets. Don't give him no experience with you in the ring. You feel what I'm saying? He said, you a prize fighter. You supposed to fight for that money. What are you doing, man? I here fight for free? It ain't your fault Tank can't get no fights. Who Tank fight next? You know what I mean? Tank need you. You need to be coming up. But at the end of the day, what I think is going to happen is, I think Tank going to beat the shit out of this man. You feel me? And I don't think it's a fight that Ryan Garcia is ready for. I think Robert Ryan Garcia is a good fighter. He got hand speed like a motherfucker. Tank got hand speed, movement, power, explosive. Ryan just ain't got it yet, man. It's gonna take a little time, he's still in development. But if Oscar De La Hoya let this man do this, it could be damaging. You see what happened to Adrian Bronner, cocky, like talk a lot of shit. Then he started going to different people's gyms, getting his ass beat. Now he curved out, you feel me? You don't wanna curve this young boxer out yet. Hopefully they stop this sparring match. And if they do have a sparring match, they should show it on TV. I mean, not show it on TV, somebody should record it. What's the point of doing this, taking this damage, fighting it, doghouse rules, no rounds, just fighting to whoever give up. What's the point of doing that without recording it, without getting no money? It don't add up. It don't make sense. But it is what it is. Who, who knows? This can be a genius idea. This can be the beginning of a rivalry and both of them do good. So we'll see about it, we'll hear about it. But Oscar De La Hoya, I don't think he wants this to happen. You know, I don't think Floyd would let Tank Davis go and challenge Lomacheco. He'd be like, hell no, dude, there's money on the line, bro. That's a big money fight. Why would you go in there and show this man your skills? You know what I mean? He find out what works and don't work. Come on, bro. Somebody might be holding back that day, you know what I mean? So, just to see what the other dude gonna do. So, you know, I don't think it's smart, but it is what it is. It's a challenge. But a lot of people say, damn, Tank, you get so aggressive, you ready to jump through the moon, but who else is you doing this to? You know what I mean? You ain't doing it with Devin Haney. Devin Haney said he whipped your ass. You need to be saying that to him. Let's spar again. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't calling out Loma Checo like that. You know what I mean? You say you finna come from Baltimore all the way to California. That's a long ass man. That's across the country, man. God damn. Hopefully you're in Vegas already. Uh, but I like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. It's been a blast, man.